So how do we unlock profits in the stock market using what we call candlestick patterns, right? What are some of the key patterns that I personally use to guide me on entry and exit or to get out or to be careful whenever I see patterns like this? How does it help me to position myself in the stock market? Hey guys, welcome to this video. Joey here, top tier reminds here, trader in Philip Securities. And in this video, we'll be pretty much talking about candlestick patterns. Not all the candlestick patterns because there's so many patterns, but essentially some of the most important patterns that you definitely want to know, to know how to position yourselves or to know when to get in and more importantly, to get out as well. So we'll be looking at some of the basics of candlestick for those of you who are new. And then we look at some diagrams about some key patterns that I look at before we look at some live case studies to see if you can find any of those patterns and how it actually plays out right so if you like this video guys go ahead to give me a like smash the subscribe button as well that would definitely help out the channel and thank you so much for watching so let me just go ahead to explain what is a candlestick pattern right so for a candlestick pattern basically we are looking at what we call a daily candlestick bar all right so each day uh, in the market for a particular stock or even the index, there's what we call an opening price, there's a closing price, there's a day high, and there is a day low. So pretty much like four prices for a stock each day. So these four prices actually give rise to a candlestick bar. So for example, when it is a green bar, like what you see over here. So this could be a red bar, it could be green bar, but it means different things. Very simple, right? But a green bar just means that it opens lower. So this is what we call the opening price right right over here this is like the opening price all right so opening price and this is what we call the closing price right so when it opens lower and close higher then the bar is green color all right and if it opens higher so in this case we have a red bar so red bar just means it opens higher and close lower so the red bar would be more bearish because the you know, sellers came in and pushed prices lower and they actually closed lower. So that's pretty much how you differentiate the color of a candlestick bar. Green just means open slow, close high. Red just means open high and close low. So that is just pretty much two prices, right? The open price and the closing price that gives rise to the color of the bar. And sometimes you might even see a bar with no colors as well. You might see a bar like this, so there's no red, there's no green. Why? Well, because they close and open at the same price. So when that happens, then there's no red, there's no green color as well. All right, it's pretty much uh, across like what you see over here. All right, and it's, there's, there's no red or green color. So just take note of that, right? So we have pretty much covered two prices, opening price and closing price. So what about the high of the day and the low of the day? Well, that is where we look at what we call the wicks or some people call it the shadow as well. So can you see this black line? Uh, over here so you see this is the black line right over here this is a black line as well so at the top right right over here that would be the high of the day right the high of the day will be right over here the day high and the low of the day would be presented by the lower wick that is the low of the day right so same thing for the red bar here is the high and here would be the low so these four prices pretty much gives rise to one candlestick bar so each new day there's a new bar another day there's a new bar and all these bars adds up and that's how we see all these candlestick bars on the chart all right so now that you know pretty much the fundamentals of a candlestick let's dive into what are some of the key uh, candlestick bars or patterns that i like that i pretty much look out for when i'm looking at the chart so one of the key candlestick bars or patterns that i look out for would be a candlestick that either has a long upper shadow or a long lower shadow as well so let me just share with you what i mean for example this is like a green uh, candlestick bar right over here that means it opens low and close high and maybe we could even have a red candlestick bar as well that means it opens high and close lower so nothing complicated but that's just a candlestick bar so what about the highs and the lows as well right so one thing that i look out for would be the wicks or the shadow so for example if we have a candlestick bar that is either red in color or green in color it opens higher or close lower and all that but there's a candlestick bar with a very, very long wick at the top, a long upper shadow. For example, we have this very, very long upper shadow right over here. So if you see for this green bar, it would be like it opens lower, close high, but it actually went all the way up to the high right over here at the peak. And sellers actually came back and pushed it all the way down, 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 and it closed 
at this point right up here still above the opening price but the fact is that sellers came back and pushed it all the way down so it is i would say slightly more bearish what about the red bar well i would say even more bearish because it opens right over here right so it opens high and close lower that's why it is red in color so for example if it opens here and you know at the beginning of the day or in the beginning of the day right in the morning buyers actually came back and push prices up 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 so it was actually like a green bar all right it was actually a green bar in the morning or in the middle of the day but same thing sellers came back and pushed prices down 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 that's the reason why we got a long upper shadow or this black line right over here right so push prices down 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 and down until it even goes below the opening price went even lower and close right at the bottom at the day low so this red bar is also what we call like a shooting star but doesn't matter the names right but what you want to know is that if you have a candlestick bar with a very long upper shadow whether is it a green or red bar that is where you want to be a little bit more careful if you see bars like this especially when it appears near what we call like a, a resistance level for example this is like a major resistance level and uh, prices have like gone up and it touches this level it touches again and you see bars like this right at this resistance level as it nears this price point by, whereby many times it nears it or touches it it comes back down and you see bars like this right right over here right over here that is where you want to be careful that shows that well sellers are out to defend this resistance level and it could potentially retrace back down again like what he has done many times especially if this resistance has been holding for like many many months or years that is where you want to be careful it could also guide you to lock in some profits near this resistance level does it make sense alright so that is pretty much the candlestick bar that I look up for at the top whenever prices that push up very much so for example it could be an up trending stock that has been forming what we call uh, higher lows and you push up but each time you know it pushes up you see right at the peak right at the peak right at the peak you know things like this over here over here uh, that is where pretty much some selling in the short term can come back and you can also think about getting out first and then maybe timing your entry to get in again when there are some strength coming back does it make sense alright so this is pretty much what we call a, a bearish candlestick bars with a long upper wick or long upper shadow you definitely want to be a little bit more careful if you see bars like this somewhere at the top right what about you no know, bars that are pretty much the opposite so for example now you have a green bar that goes like this and another red bar and now all right instead of a long upper shadow you have what we call a long lower shadow right so it's pretty much opposite to the one over here right so this is a long lower shadow and i would say that this would be opposite right it'll be slightly more bearish because buyers came back and start pushing prices all the way up and it closes right at the top so this green bar would be what we like as well we really like this this is what we call like a, a ham right so don't have to bother about the names but essentially any bars with a very long lower shadow we do give a bit more weight to it right if we see this now somewhere near a, a support level or price level by you know, price have near it many times it starts to rebound same thing we see it bars like this over there that could potentially lead to a rebound as well so maybe somewhere like over over here all right over here or over here all right when we see bars like this after prices have dipped for a while all right could be a few weeks the trend is up that could lead the rebound back up as well as it finds a new high all right so this is what we call a pretty bullish right so let me just write down bullish candlestick bar and the one on top would be slightly more bearish i would say all right so these are pretty much some of the key candlestick bars or patterns that i look up for so let's dive into some real life stocks real life case studies to see if we can find any candlestick bars like this right somewhere at the top or somewhere at the bottom that has a long upper shadow or maybe long lower shadow that's more bullish let's see if you can spot them and what happens after spotting them <music> So let's take a look at the live case study to see if you can spot any of those candles with a long upper shadow or maybe even candles with a long lower shadow that is slightly more bullish right so this is visa the stock code is v one of those popular uh, stocks that makes up the s p 500 index all right and let's go to see if you can find any of those candles so near a support level as i mentioned right somewhere around 
here, right? If we do see you know, bullish candles like right over here as it rebounds and pushes higher or it retraces back down and you see candles like this with a long lower shadow, that could potentially lead to a rebound, especially if the trend is up in the longer term. So this video would not be about trend, that would be for like another video, but pretty much we don't try to find uh, if we spot any of those candlesticks like this, right? Long upper shadow, long lower shadow, let's see if we can find them right so you can see right over here i think i spotted one all right um the trend has started to push up we form higher lows and you know as it pushes down all right right over here it swings down you can see that we found a pretty good candle right over here so this is what we call same thing something like a hammer all right whereby it's green bar and we got a long lower shadow right somewhere at the bottom whereby over the past like four or five days we found that support i think the support is about 200 and ten dollars or maybe somewhere around here 210 we got this bullish candle it started to consolidate and you could see it started to rebound even higher and then we come like sort of again and we got another candle right over here as well can you see a long lower shadow right same thing and you can see that this candle kind of like you know it's about the same uh area or price level that, as this candle so it's just slightly higher so it just means that you no know, when all these candles are appearing at this price zone maybe from 210 to 215 based on these prices that is potentially where you know buyers are coming out to defend that price level so if we do head to that level again in the future all right that's where we could potentially see some buying pressure why because many times when we hit that hit it there all right we actually saw buyers coming out and push prices higher and we saw candles like this whereby there's long lower shadow so buyers came back and pushed price up it closed even higher all right this is a bullish candle another bullish candle and it starts pushing higher as well so after this candle you can see it started to uh trade higher retrace back down it went all the way up and you see we came back down again another candle right over here all right right over here so not really a very long lower shadow but i think we do have like a, a shadow as well somewhere at the bottom whereby now this support actually is higher than the previous support so how do we tell whether it's uptrend well same thing apart from spotting these candles you see that the support price level actually goes higher so each time it retraces back down buyers comes back up we see a bullish candle with a long lower shadow and it starts going higher so that is a sign of strength as well so this candle right here you can see and prices started to to push up swing up let's see if you can find one more so not really so that's pretty much of the candles you have spotted maybe uh, over here as well can you see right so this is another candle all right but this time that would be a red bar can you see all right there's something like a spinning top it's a red bar but we do have a long lower shadow as well. Support would be somewhere around $200. We consolidated for like about two weeks. We got this candle and then when we broke this little resistance level right here, that's where it started to push higher right over here. So that is a good candle as well. All right, somewhere uh, near a support level. Maybe another candle right over here as well with a long lower shadow. You can see somewhere at the bottom, right? We hit it to this level. That would be the 175 support level. You can see a green candle with a long lower shadow just slightly longer all right and i started to rebound again and you can see when we traded up we retraced back down and we got a pretty bullish candle this time this would be something different this is not really a candle with a long lower shadow this would be what we call a bullish engulfing pattern i mean it completely engulfs the past few days can this bar all right a very good bullish candle you can see opens lower way lower than the previous day close way higher than the previous day as well uh, this is what we call a bullish engulfing pattern so i'll not cover this into this video but pretty much uh, when we see v you know, patterns like this right another you know this is a lower shadow one like this uh, this can pretty much point to a bottom and true enough we started to see uh, that rebound happening all the way up and that was the bottom that was found somewhere end of 2022 right so these are pretty much some of the candles we look for near a bottom near a support whereby we see buyers coming back or the, the price level holding quite well we spot candles like this that could give a bit more weight to that support level right so let's see if we can spot any of those candles at the top right or near a resistance level whereby we then start to see selling or like a retracement back down so let me just remove all these lines and uh, let's see if we can spot any of those ones at the top with a long upper shadow pretty much uh, what we see over here right so previously what we did just now was a, a long lower shadow somewhere at the bottom somewhere near the support and we see prices rebounding or we found a bottom based on these candles and now let's see if you can find candlestick bars like this somewhere near a resistance or the top with a long 
upper shadow right over here it could be near a resistance it could be somewhere at the top at the peak whereby you know sellers came back as well let's see if we can find them right so i'll say maybe let's see right so very quickly i think uh somewhere around here as well can you see so this is a candlestick bar you can see that we were pretty much consolidating we you know, went up sold back down traded up again hit it to the resistance level and we saw this pretty bearish candlestick bar all right candlestick bar you can see that it's green in color but we have quite a long upper shadow long upper shadow that means buyers uh, push prices all the way up but then sellers came back and push it all the way down and it closes somewhere at the day low all right so even though it's green in color that means it opens low and close high but sellers actually push prices way lower and after that you see that we started to see weakness and so all the way down as well and then we got this uh yeah bars with long lower shadow you can see right over here lower shadow and started to see that rebound up again another candlestick bar right over here with a long upper shadow same thing right at the top and resistance you know it could be four days five days two weeks and we see bars like this at the top with with you know upper shadow with prices just not being able to go higher but sellers just coming back to push prices all the way down that is not good that's where potentially we can start to sell down so let's somewhere at the top let's see if you can find a few more of those bars with uh you know upper shadow maybe somewhere around here as well can you see so this is a, a candlestick bar right away here same thing it was pretty much finding some consolidation we found a little bit of the support maybe a bit of resistance here as it trades up and down up and down and we got this bar with a long upper shadow and after that the support broke and it starts trading all the way down as well all right let's see maybe one more around here as well can you see right so this is another candlestick bar look at this right a one whereby you know prices have seen a very strong move in the short term look at this swing down swing up went to the peak and we saw this you know pretty bearish candlestick bar so even though it is green in color i mean if it's red it'll be a bit more bearish but if it's green in color that's fine but uh we saw this long upper shadow or very long wick at the top it just means sellers came back and pushed prices all the way down and if prices were to kind of like you know go or break below the low of this day then it is not so good so on this day that could be like the entry whereby prices started to to sell down as well all right so let's see if you can find more all right over here would be the one where we talk about over here can you see this is one whereby we got a long lower shadow as well all right and then we saw the rebound happening again right over here we saw that rebound happening up okay let's see maybe somewhere around here any more of those bars with a long uh upper shadow maybe right over here so pretty good up trending stock right as mentioned we form higher lows higher highs but each time we form a new high it starts to consolidate a bit and then we can see a retracement so whenever it hits the new high and retrace back down and you see candles like this same thing right over here could you see uh, a little you know bearish candlestick bar so it's green in color but then we got this what we call long upper shadow so right at the peak right at the resistance whereby we just couldn't push higher you know and then we got this bar and what happens was we broke this little support maybe about 245 and it sold all the way down again right so this is a yeah pretty bearish bar with a long upper shadow so yes guys we have come to the end of this video and i hope that you now know how to find a bullish or maybe even bearish candlestick bars with a long upper shadow or a long lower shadow as well and more importantly what do you want to do after finding them so if you see like a bar at the top at the resistance upper shadow that's where it could guide you to also think about getting out first because we could see a retracement or maybe near a support level like what we talk about right whereby you see a couple of rebounds it could also guide you to time your entry to get back in again to write the reversal out all right so i hope you like this video guys if you like this video all right go ahead to uh give me a like all right smash the subscribe button as well that would really help out the channel and thank you so much for doing that and if you want to find a little bit more on like the one good trend framework so now we are pretty much just talking about candlestick but there's so much more to it we look at some of the things like the indicators uh, some of the things like some of the trend patterns we look at as well and you're gonna find a little bit more and how we have a system to guide us on entry and exit as well all right attend one of those free uh, web class or webinars that i'm still running i'll put the link below this video or around this video click on it attend all these webinars whereby it will be a little bit clearer all right not just on candlestick but the whole picture on what do we want to look out for uh, to be in the same direction as the trend before we even look at things like this all right so joey here thank you so much for watching i look forward to see you in the next video take care